robots are obviously super cool. They're very popular right now, but they do a real job. And out here it's kind of fun because we're doing a job that's actually probably helping somebody with their health in one way or another. The 3D printer has really opened up the ability to make a very complex three-dimensional part with tons of faces. The machine paid for itself with just, probably just this part. I'm Heath Dale. I'm the manufacturing manager here at Yaskawa Moto Man, where we work on life sciences. We do large lab automations for the customers that are basically handling life science test tubes and trying to save people's lives. Life sciences for us is a engineering feat. We try to take what the customer needs and we're going to come up with a custom solution for them. So we are basically engineering the product with our robot systems and our conveyor systems. So we can integrate different types of analytics. Uh, we're interfacing with the software that customers may have. And then we're literally building the equipment from, from scratch. Building of it, program it, wire it, install it, the whole nine yards. There's a whole bunch of very interesting shaped parts. So it was very apparent that a 3D printer would be a very nice addition. And we went the Lulzbot, the TAS-6 specifically. We thought it was going to be a really good one to get our feet wet and see how it works. So far it's been a great, great machine for us. We've made a couple of brackets that you can see there's a weird, there's some weird angles on here and then there's a weird, a weird angle up here. We're positioning a barcode reading camera and the camera needs to be positioned very precisely. So this is kind of a test as I think we need it here. That's what it looks like. We made that out of aluminum after we were done. So this is a jig that we made to align our conveyors and the sensors that are on a conveyor very consistently so they say the exact same distance apart. We have four machines like this so we want them all to be exactly the same. So here's a good example of a jig that we've made. A good toolmaker would probably really like to make this but it would be a super pain. It would be a very expensive part and it would take us a while to get. So we made this in a few hours. We are able to use it and find that it didn't work. So instead of paying hundreds and hundreds of dollars, we're going to just do it again, spend a few more bucks. Now we have a part very similar to this on the machine that's working. Just this one part, I probably paid for the machine. We still have a whole lot of machines that need fabricated parts and machine parts, but a lot of the intricate stuff that's gonna take the time for us to really develop and, and fine tune, it turns out that most of those things can be printed. So the printer is gonna help us a lot. It's gonna save us money. It's gonna help our margin a little bit. It's gonna probably reduce our time of development and increase the efficiency of it and make it a lot cheaper.